Hello, gentle people, and welcome to this week's Hi-Fi News, etc. I have some Hi-Fi News for you, which you're going to get in a moment. And I also have a relatively brief, for a change, <laughs> they've all been quite long hints and tips, haven't they? Well, a relatively brief hint and tip will follow later on. Until then, trivia. And this week, we're sticking with that law theme. And the question this week is, Alexander Minto Hughes had a series of reggae hits in the UK, and that's the clue for this one, in the UK in the late 60s and early 70s. Under what legal title? What was the man's legal title? That is, what was his generally known name, his well-known name? Now, one more time. Alexander Minto Hughes had a series of reggae hits in the UK in the late 60s and early 70s. Under what legal title? Now, as I always say, please don't do any Googling. Just have a little think, and I will give you the answer at the end of this video. Until then, hi fan News. And to begin with, we have a cable from Poland, of all places, from Melodica. This one is called Sky Blue. And Sky Blue is an upcoming series that uses twisted cores and bass core technology. What on earth is bass core technology? Well, I think it's the use of a larger core cable for bass frequencies with thinner conductors surrounding it for higher frequencies enclosed in a double PVC dielectric insulation with reportedly increased resistance, resistance to high frequency noise, I guess. So these cables can be concealed under a floor, within a wall, above a ceiling, that kind of thing. First product in the range, there's just one for now, will be speaker cables, which can be purchased either by the meter on a spool or pre-terminated based on copper, and the copper itself comes from Poland as well. Apparently the price, because I only have euros, and I think this is the price, for what I can gather anyway, is 11 euros per meter. If you want to store your vinyl somewhere, then Cochineer, because the storage people, Glorious, have arrived with the Vinyl Vault modular system available in black or white. This is a home built flat pack kind of thing that uses half height drawers to store all your records, your vinyl records. Each drawer offers space for up to 80 12 inch records, and you get two drawers and a vertical configuration, so 160 in all. The idea is that you get access to the vinyl at the back of the drawer by literally pulling out the drawer on some extension runners. Then you can riffle through your collection. The rear of the drawer is also adjustable for flexible record loading. As I say, each vinyl vault comprises two drawers placed in a vertical orientation. You can then buy additional units and snuggle them up to create a larger storage option. Each vault features pre-drilled mounting holes for wall mounting, and the price is £209 per unit, or for euros, 200 and not, well, 220. I mean, it's a penny short. 220 euros. And we have more news, and we have Sonus Faber, the Italian speaker company, but also fellow Italians Lamborghini. Because both of these companies have done some collaborating. As you might expect, 
to insert Sonus Faber speakers inside Lamborghini cars. Well, specifically one car. Now, my cack handed English way of pronouncing this word might be Revuelto, but it ain't going to be that, is it, folks? It's going to be more Italian. So we've got Revuelto, possibly. But you can shoot me down. <laughs> You're welcome to shoot me down if that's wrong. Anyway, that's the new car. It's typically Lamborghini. It's a hybrid, actually. It's a hybrid battery petrol car, I believe. The system itself, in terms of the speakers, features seven speakers in total, as well as an exclusive phase plug and natural fiber composite material developed specifically for this car. The system includes a new Class D amp with a DSP pushing out 750 watts. The layout includes a center channel speaker. Two full range speakers are positioned left and right behind the pilot and the co pilot, not, pay attention here, folks, not driver and passenger. Oh no, pilot and co pilot. That's what Lamborghini says. Both doors are equipped with a mid base unit and a tweeter, and that tweeter is covered with a nano silk dome, apparently. Another apparently, you can fine tune the sound. So I'm guessing EQ options of some sort, tone controls, probably all that and a bit more. Next up, we have Fine Audio, and they have a Super Tweeter. This one is called the Super Tracks. This Super Tweeter doesn't do what most Super Tweeters do. Most Super Tweeters send a relatively narrow focused beam directionally. Not the Fine Audio one. The Super Tracks, well, that has a 360 degree dispersion, omnidirectional, you might say. Available in both traditional walnut veneers with gold anodized metalwork, as well as contemporary gloss black and satin silver versions to match the F700 speakers from Fine, of course. The 25mm one inch driver in the Supertrax can be paired with speakers up to, well, anywhere up to 98 decibels sensitivity. Fine has also released a cable, which you can use elsewhere, but I think it's specifically in this case, aimed at the tweeter. It's a cable called the SC1, and it's been designed and engineered by Dr. Paul Mills. And I think that's the same guy who designs the speakers. Anyway, this particular cable is based on high purity OFC copper ribbon conductors, which has been selected to reduce magnetic eddy currents. The cable itself is protected with a braided nylon and looks to include a grounding cable within. Now, I have a series of prices here. If you want to buy these Super Tracks in Walnut, you're paying £3,500 or €4,000 or $4,600. In Gloss Black, well, that version is a bit cheaper. £3,000, €3,500, $4,000. And the SC1 cable priced at £350, €400, Euros, $450. Dollars. And that's your lot. That's your news. Let's do a hint. A tip. As promised, just a short one this week, just to give you a bit of relief, because <laughs> all my previous hints and tips have been war and peace in length, haven't they? Anyway, so this hint and tip addresses headphones. Now, most people at one extreme will buy headphones on a whim, or on the other extreme, they will buy based on careful research, studying reviews, talking in internet forums, or whatever. But there is one common denominator for both of those customer categories. Not for everyone, there are exceptions, but most people. 
generally speaking, when the headphones are bought, that's it. They are used or not used. Upgrading the headphones themselves is not an occupation that fills the heads of most headphone users. Only music fills their heads, not the notion of additional accessories to upgrade those headphones. Now, yes, you can dabble with headphones by changing the ear pads, and we may get to that in a future hint and tip, but for now, I want to steer your gaze towards the obvious, the cable. Just about every cable out there attached to headphones is a basic, cheapest chips model. Most headphone cables are bottom of the build budget list. They're an afterthought. Most of the investment for headphones is pointed at the drivers, the overall design, even the comfort, all the usual suspects, you might say. The cable, let me emphasize, is often an afterthought. But the cable does have a direct influence on sound quality, as all cables in hi-fi do. So if your headphones sport a basic black cable, then I encourage you, when funds allow, of course, look at upgrading the thing. There are a host of companies out there that supply cabling options for your headphone design. And yes, certain headphones have certain cable types, certain connecting plugs and sockets, so you may have to look for a specific cable for your particular headphones. However, most cable companies have most headphone types covered. I'm thinking of people like who? Atlas? Uh, Russ Andrews? Also, I'm thinking of people like Oyardi on a more exotic label. I had or used to have an Oyardi upgrade cable for my Sennheiser 650s. And I have a Kimba upgrade cable for my Sennheiser HD 800s. And also I reviewed an Atlas cable for those 800s as well. And I'm pretty sure even if your headphones are a bit odd, or you haven't found any particular off-the-shelf cabling to fit your headphones, if you talk to people like Atlas, and I think if you talk to Cord, the Cord company, I think they will produce a bespoke cable for you. So if you think to yourself, ah, there's nothing for me out there, talk to these cables. I'm sure that you may have to pay a little bit more for the privilege, because it's a one-off, because one-offs are always more expensive, aren't they? But I think everybody is included here. Just talk to the cabling companies. They will help you out, I am sure. Anyway, it's worth the effort and should provide a noticeable enhancement in sound quality. And before we go, let's talk about the trivia question and more specifically, the answer. Well, question first. Just to remind you, Alexander Minto Hughes had a series of reggae hits in the UK in the late 60s and early 70s, under what legal title? And the answer is Judge Dredd. He was the artist behind such bawdy hits as Big Seven and Eviva Suspenders. <laughs> Eviva Suspenders. In the 1970s, he had more reggae hits than any other artist, despite hailing from Kent rather than Kingston. So now you know. That is the end of this particular video. Thank you for staying to the end. And I'll be back next week, same place, same, well, I won't say same time because it does vary a bit, doesn't it? But same place, same day, how about that? So, <laughs> and I hope to see you next week. Thank you again for all of your support, folks. It is much appreciated, helps me enormously. So thank you once more. I'll see you then. Hope to have your company, and until then, bye-bye for now.